Thank you. Thank you. Alright, I just got here guys. I just pulled up to the spot to um, film this dowsing rod session. And there's a dog I see, actually. I saw a dog run through here, right? Oh, there he is. I'm about to do a session asking divine beings of the highest white light using the dowsing rods. Um, some questions about Quentin Simon's disappearance. I had visions that were very disturbing, honestly, guys. They were kind of, um, they, they weren't my favorite visions, I'm gonna just say that. So I shared that with you guys in the last video. And real quick, I just wanted to come here and film this. I wanted to come to a peaceful place um, for this session, just for my own sake, obviously. I'm not connecting with Quentin himself. He was a, a little baby boy. I don't really personally um, care to even call, you know, adult spirits down to do this type of stuff, let alone a child. So when it, it, there's cases like this, I tend to call on divine and ask for their assistance with the questions, with all of the things that I need to know. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna quickly set up this camera. Um, I'm gonna just put it up right here, prop it up. I want to just get right into it. I'm not even going to procrastinate. Let's just, get, let's just get into it, y'all. All right, time for the shades to come off. Let's get serious here. Um, as before any act of divination, I do want to say a quick prayer, set my intentions for this session. Just always make sure we keep God in this. I don't think anybody should be doing this any way other than God, personally, my opinion. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so very much for this day, Lord, for allowing me to do this wonderful session in regards to Quentin Simon's disappearance. Father God, I pray that today you allow myself to get divine answers from divine beings of the highest white light, archangels of the highest white light, pertaining to Quentin Simon's disappearance, Father. I pray that you bless this session and you fill it with love and light, Father. Please, please don't allow anything evil, demonic, or negative to enter this session, nor impersonate, Father God. I love you, and I thank you. We love you, and we thank you. May the light of God surround us. This in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So quickly, I just want to um, kind of back this up a little bit. Divine beings of the highest white light. Is Quentin Simon still alive? Open for yes, cross for no, please. Oh, I felt this jolt on my body. Thank you. I'm gonna. Thank you. I'm gonna. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna ask that again. Can you open these rods, please? Thank you. Divine, is Quentin Simon still alive? Open for yes, cross for no, please. I've, the energy, guys, it literally shakes my body every time I, I ask this question. I've asked it twice now. And both times, I felt like my body has been shaking. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> was Quentin's mother the one that was responsible for his disappearance? Open for yes, cross for no, please. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you, Divine. I feel you. I feel you. Thank you. Will we ever locate Quentin's body? Open for yes, cross for no, please. Yes, yes. I already know the answer to this question, Divine. However, I can feel it, literally, but however, I do wanna ask, um, just so everybody else can see and know that it's true, is Quentin in heaven? Open for yes, cross for no, please. Yes, that was a big open, guys. Look, it's still opening. Nice. Thank you, Divine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I feel so much um, love from that one question that I just asked. I feel so much love, actually. So much love. This is a... Uh, it's an interesting feeling, guys, because every single session I do is completely and utterly unique. I keep trying to explain that to people. There's no one size fits all with this stuff, nor this energy, nor um, the sessions that you do with divine. It's so individualized, it seems, that it's truly mind blowing. Of course, there's, there's, there's rules, but there's like no one session that's the same or has the same energy or the same exact you know answers and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's so interesting in that regard. Divine, back to forward facing. Oh, squirrels, yo, I heard footsteps. There's a leaf that just fell right behind me. I keep forgetting it's fall guys and these leaves are falling and I'm used to like listening for paranormal activity in the background and it's just the leaves falling. <laughs> are investigators close to finding Quentin's body? Open for yes, cross for no please. No, thank you. Back to forward facing, please. Okay. Are they anywhere near his actual body in the places that they're searching? No. Okay, thank you, Divine. Thank you. Oh, my paper's flapping up. Is Quentin in a landfill? Open for yes, cross for no, please. No. Okay, open up please, back to forward facing. Thank you. Is Quentin buried? Open for yes, cross for no please. Is Quentin buried? No. Open back up, forward facing. Thank you, Divine. Is Quentin in the water? In some sort of water, I mean, his body. Yes, yes. Yeah, I believe that he is in, based off of what I saw in my vision, I believe he is possibly in a body of water. I don't know if there is any bodies of water near her or you know, anywhere around this area. I know little to nothing about the case and I like, I like it like that because it leaves out confirmation bias. So I don't feel any other energies around this. I don't feel any um, male energies around this. It's interesting to me because that's literally what they showed me. Um, I don't know. Now, keep in mind, guys, I did tell you in the last session, I know little to nothing about this case. I didn't even know they had a pool until after you guys told me in the comments in my last session. Um, somebody mentioned something about them having a pool somebody else mentioned something about her being um you know having drug issues which i also had no idea about which would explain the the looks that i saw on her face and the sweating and things like that there's so many things that i'm telling you guys this is why i don't like to know anything because i'm telling you when i get that validation it makes this so much easier for me to flow to allow myself to flow and trust my intuition Half of the stuff that I actually get, I never even post because I don't trust my intuition. So I realize I'm robbing myself not only out of validation, but also of helping the actual spirit, which defeats the purpose. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm trying to help, I need to get out of my ego 
And you know, if I'm wrong ever, I need to admit when I'm wrong and just deal with it. But when I'm right, I need to learn how to embrace that and start showing that so people can understand just how incredible this stuff can be and how much it can, can truly help, not only on this side, but the other side, right? So Divine beings of the highest white light. This is something I didn't know before, but I found out his mother was on some sort of drugs. Yes, they started moving that even before I finished. Wow, okay. Um, can you move it back to forward facing, please? Divine, was his mother under the influence of any drugs or any substances at the time that she killed her son? Open for yes, cross for no. No, okay. Was she withdrawing from any substances or drugs at the time? Yes, okay, thank you. Back to forward facing, please. Is that why I was seeing her in my vision sweating and have this weird look in her eyes? Yes, okay. Back to forward facing, please. And also to confirm my visions, when I saw her putting him underwater, was I seeing her drown him? Open for yes, cross for no. Okay, yeah, so guys i got a vision of her i i literally i hate saying this oh I don't, I don't like it all right of her literally choking him in his crib but i also got a vision of her putting him underwater but i got more of that vision was more of like her disposing of a body so i thought the way i interpreted it was that he was being disposed of in a lake or something and she tied something to his body and put him in there but what could have been you know the case is that she drowned him in the pool or something like that you know what i mean it could be anything like that but i think definitely i don't i don't want to sit here and say that whatever visions i get and when i interpret them to you guys my interpretation is in fact 100 percent correct because i could be wrong you know i could be seeing things um a different way than i'm supposed to be if you guys see it in a different way or if you guys get any feelings about what I saw and what I'm getting here with the dowsing rods to confirm it. Definitely let me know what you guys think they mean. You know, I'm just trying my best to interpret everything without knowing barely anything about the case at all. And again, that's how I like to keep it because it prevents confirmation bias. Divine beings of the highest white light, can you move this to forward facing, please? Thank you. Divine, is there anybody else involved in Quentin's disappearance. Open for yes, cross for no, please. No. And I want you guys to know, you know, when I was getting these visions, when I was seeing all of this stuff, I didn't see anybody else. I didn't see anybody else around her. I didn't feel any other energies. And I said that even the first video I made, there was absolutely no other energies. I believe that she acted independently on this. I don't know why. I don't know anything other than the fact that I truly believe that she did do this. She has everything to do with what happened to her son and i don't think anybody really is buying the fact that he was not the fact the the thing that she says is a fact that he was in fact kidnapped or something like that is quentin's mother acting strange because she knows she's going to get caught open for yes cross for no please yes thank you divine thank you divine I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. I love you so, so very much. So, so very much. I hope you know it to be true. I thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye.